What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome to a 4600 FIFA point pack opening. Uh, we're on my, um, my, what are we on? We're on my, uh, Ruin a Randomer account, um, and I had a, basically a free PSN card worth £25 given to me for reasons you guys don't need to know. Um, so here it is, uh, 4,600 FIFA points, it is 23.99, um, and I'm going to do a pack opening, it's currently 2.44 on Wednesday the 31st of October, it's actually my birthday, so happy birthday to me, um, and uh, yeah, we've still got Messi, Rooney and Cesc Fabregas in the packs, so I'm going to hope that we can get some pretty decent players in packs, as you can see I've got 265,000 coins there. Uh, the last couple of days, because I, I told you guys in the last, um, in the last, uh, what, in the last, oh, we got premium packs. Ooh, nice. Oh, wait, seven premium gold pack 13. What the hell is that? Contains one more item than a standard premium gold pack. Well, why would you not go for that? And <laughs> why would you ever go for this instead of that? They should just remove the the middle option and just give you the premium gold pack thirteen option. Um, but yeah, if you remember in a few videos ago, um, I lost my complete train of thought there. What I was talking about. Yeah, I I haven't been playing FIFA Ultimate Team too much because um, for the simple fact that hold on, I'm confusing myself here. Um, by the way, I'll just delete everything. I don't care about anything on this account. Um, for the simple fact that I've got too much footage. So I've been trading a whole bunch on this account. Um, and I've made basically about, about I think about 200,000 coins. Because I had about 70,000 coins that I was trading with. Um, let me make sure it's on the right pack. Uh, yeah, about 70,000 coins that I was trading with. And uh, yeah, made over the course of like three and three to four days, I made about two hundred thousand coins. So it's not crazy good trading, um, but it's pretty decent, you know, for somebody who's not really renowned as a trader. That's a nice kit. I'll keep that. Um, yeah, it's pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, so guys, I'm really not too fussed about the players and stuff unless I get something that's worth a fair bit. Because, like I said, these uh, these FIFA points were free for me essentially. Um, so I'm not really too concerned about getting rid of everything and getting squeezing every last coin out you know it's really not a big deal uh, of course I will keep things that are nice so uh, yeah things like that um, oh, just got a really bad wave of headache um, and the last video guys was the 500th video the dual con with my girlfriend uh, what want your guys feedback with that um, after we finished the video uh, my girlfriend was a little bit like eh, not too sure how that went down but um, I think it was a good video uh, this, I'm gonna keep him he could be worth a bit not crazy amounts of course but uh, a bit um, yeah so it was just yeah we want to know your feet want your feedback basically we're gonna see if I'm gonna try and convince her to make it a regular thing maybe once every two or four weeks um, do a dual com together so uh, we want some feedback just so we can make sure we can perfect it for you guys um, oh he's gonna go for a bit I'll keep him and of course we're going to keep the Arsenal kit. And speaking of Arsenal, Jesus Christ, what a game with Reading today. Uh, we went 4-0 down after like 30 odd minutes or so. And we're getting absolutely tanked. I mean, we had a really, really weak team out. You know, we had, um, other than, you know, we had Arshavin, Walcott and Shamak. I mean, Shamak's not special by any stretch of the imagination, but he's got experience. Um, so we had those people. Uh, in the team and Koscielny in defence as well um, but other than that the team was really really young and really inexperienced you know you had like um, Mikel at left back um, Jenkinson at right back um, Frimpong was in the centre and it was just in general like a, a very young inexperienced squad which is you know no real excuse to get dicked 4-0 by Reading but um, it was a weakened team. But Walcott scored in a, quite a really nice chip, actually, uh, with uh, the last kick, pretty much, of the first half to make it 4-1. And then just the most insane scenes where... Oh, big Andy Carroll. Um, yeah, where... 
in the 89th minute, Koscielny scored a header, and Giroud came on and scored a header in like the 60 odd minute or something. Um, and then Koscielny scored in the 89th minute to make it 3 4 3. And then Walcott scored, but I don't think it got credited to him in the 90th minute. And then Jenkins and put in the rebound to make it 4 all and send it to extra time. Um, and that's just that's that was mental, you know. I was just I was so happy. And uh, people on Twitter were just tweeting me like, "Dude, it's Reading. I don't give a fuck that it's Reading. We were four 0 down and we came back to four four. I'm gonna be happy, <laughs> you know. It's a uh, just a crazy um, a crazy feature. Was that a good player there? Ah, oh, no, just a goalkeeper. Silver. You never know for the silvers though how much they go for. So I'll keep him. Um, so yeah, it was just some mental mentalness made it four four, and we were all over Reading at that stage, you know. We deserved it. Um, the the time of the goal was like 94 minutes and 50 something seconds, um, so it was quite late. But the reason why I think the ref allowed that extra minute was because the the um, I, but I'm probably discarding players here, and you guys are sitting there like, what the fuck? He's worth like three thousand coins. Um, yeah, I, th I think the ref got you know the, you you uh, when you make a substitution, you allow 30 seconds for the substitution. They made a substitution uh, in the 90 whatever minute. Um, and they were time wasting for a throw in for a little bit as well, uh, and I think that's where the extra minute came from. And you got to remember as well, it's a minimum of four minutes of injury time. That's a really nice kit. Um, yeah, it's it's yeah, it basically comes down as a minimum of four minutes. So it could be uh, seven minutes, ten minutes, just a minimum of four minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, just it it got to four four. Then in injury time, not in injury time, sorry, in extra time, um, Shamak scored. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a minute to let that settle in. I thought we got an extra rare here. I only got three rares in this pack. Thought we were supposed to get four rares. I am opening the right packs, right? Yeah. Oh, mostly gold and three rares. Oh, you just get one extra item. That's it. Oh, that's crap. Um. Yeah. So Shamak scored to make it five four, and then uh, Pog Pogrebniak scored to make it um, five five. <laughs> Sorry, losing my train of thought everywhere here. Uh, yeah, Pog Rebniak. <sighs> totally fucking butchering his name there but uh oh wait that kit might go for a bit um yeah he scored to make it 5-5 and then in the 121st minute or something like that uh Walcott scored to make it 6-5 and then I don't know where the ref got the extra time from but Shamak scored again in like the 124th minute even though it was only like two minutes of in injury time now the first the the first 90th minute goal um, I can understand where that time came from because, like I said, it was four minutes minimum. There were substitutions and stuff, but there was like I think one or two, I think two minutes of injury time at the end of extra time, and we were into like the fourth minute. And when the when Walcott cleared it up the field, I was like, the ref got a blow for the full time here, and then the defender completely missed the header. Shamak walked in and uh, just quite simply lobbed the keeper, and straight away there were some like memes out there on the Twitter. Would you like some salt with that chip? Pretty funny stuff, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, I couldn't believe the result. 7-5. Like, oh, it's just a crazy game. Like, the, the you know, the, I don't know. Football's crazy. Football is so weird sometimes. Like, 12 goals in a game. And the thing is, 4-4, four, four, somebody actually tweeted me. Um, one of his friends put a 20, yeah, 20 pound bet down at 250 to 1 that the game finishes 4-4 four, four at full time, so like without including extra time and stuff. That's that's crazy, you know? So he's basically won five grand from that result. Like, that's the sort of um, bet that you just don't don't put on, you know? It's one of those crazy bets that will never come in. You don't know why you would do it, but if you do do it and it does come in, you can't complain about it at all. It's always a very nice, uh, very nice feeling. So guys, my typical pack luck is uh, still here. I'm not really getting much. Um, I've had a few average players, like, and I mean distinctly average, that I've kept for. I think they'll be worth like three or four thousand. I'm probably wrong, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not getting any players here. Um, as per usual, Dante he might go for a, go for a few CM to a cam. See, we don't even get the good consumables. We'll keep Dante. 
uh, he could be uh, worth a few. Um, but we're going to have, after this pack opening, around 300,000 coins. So that'll be pretty sweet for the next Ruiner Random where I should be able to build a pretty decent team. I just got Kadira again. What the fuck? Come on, give me someone new. Um, but I, I do like those 2,000 coin things. Um, but yeah, guys, so... Like I said, it's my birthday today. You would have seen the dual con with my girlfriend a little earlier on. Um, and the reason why I'm doing a pack opening now is because I'm not going to have, probably not going to have time tomorrow. Well, well like it's 2.54 in the morning. So by the time I go to sleep and then get up, probably won't have time to make any videos or whatever because I'm going to be spending the day just enjoying my life, um, which should be awesome. Ooh, Nagatomo. He's pretty good. Um, and... Yeah, so I, I just needed a relatively easy video to make, and I was hoping that with 4,600 points, I might get something decent. But <laughs> this is uh, this is EA we're talking about. So oh, did that say Cristiano Ronaldo? Oh, I said Busquets. Oh, I saw a double name, and then I was just like, oh, I know one double name. So I guess Busquets is quite decent to get in a pack. Um, um, yeah, so. I got the QPR badge and the QPR home kit in the same fucking pack. What the hell? Um, yeah, I mean, so I needed a relatively easy video to make. And also, guys, for those of you that do know, uh, you need not listen, but for those of you that don't know, I'm doing a Let's Play of Need for Speed Most Wanted on my second channel. It's Nepenthes HD. The link to the Let's Play will be in the description and to the channel, but also... At the start of every video, I have like a little annotation thing pop up in the top right hand corner of my video. That's the first episode of the Let's Play. So if you want to watch the Let's Play, just click on that and it will take you to the first episode on the playlist and you can move forward with it. Um, so some more absolute pants in these packs. Really not getting too lucky. Um, Sergio Busquets, the best player I've got so far. A couple of Kadiras, not really worth too much. Only 850 points left. So this is... This is getting to desperation time. Um, I, I just want at least an inform. The amount of packs I've opened this week, guys, uh, is insane. You'll see it in my Ultimate Team series in probably around a week or so. Um, I had the like the points that I get from Electronic First. I basically had like 10,000 points worth of stuff. Um, oh, Alex Song. They're giving me the Barcelona team here. Yeah. Um, yeah, 10,000 points worth of packs that I opened. So you guys are going to get to see what I got in those packs. Maybe there's some nice players in them. Maybe there isn't. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see for that one. But um, I just really want an informed player. Like 4,600 points should be enough to get you one decent player. Like decent player, you know. Not like a song or a Busquets, but like, uh, I don't know, a Robin or... <laughs> Or a Ribery or something. So we're going to have this gold pack, one more gold pack, and then one more regular gold pack. We've got some rare players in this one, though. That's pretty good. Oh, Diego Capel. He should be five-star skills. He should definitely be a five-star skiller. He's insane with skills. Um, but, yeah, there's some more more absolute bull crap. Um, I'm sure I've discarded a lot of players that you guys are sitting there going, Oh, my God, Nep, what are you doing? Those players are so good. But, um... Yeah, for me, they mean nothing. Stuff like this just means nothing. I just discard this and laugh in the face of coins. So we've got 100 points left. Here we go, a gold pack. And I can almost guarantee this would be my best pack as well. Diego Cavalieri. Nah, he used to be a good silver goalkeeper. Now he's just an average gold goalkeeper. Quite a letdown. But um, that's the end of the pack opening, guys. So thank you very much for sticking by me and watching the videos. And... For all the birthday wishes that have already come through on Twitter and on Facebook and on YouTube, I thank you very much. And for any that come through, I you know thank you guys very much. Uh, one inevitable question that's going to get asked a lot is, how old am I today? I am 28 years old today. Some may think that's sad that I still play video games, but I just think it's childish. Uh, but we're going to end it here, guys. So thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Cheers.